All right, topic number six, quadratic linear systems. In this picture, there is a quadratic equation or a parabola that's being intersected by a line. And what they want to find out is where the solutions are. So this is one that's just multiple choice. They're saying which of the following can be a solution. Well, this particular system of equations has two solutions. 1, negative 3 is one of the answers, and the other one is simply negative 3, positive 5. Look at the choices. Only one of those two shows up. All right, for this question, a little bit more complicated since they did not give you a picture of the two graphs. You have to actually construct them yourself. And the fastest way, I suppose, to get after the parabola, the first equation, is to go to your graphing calculator and under y equals, type in the equation. And then if you press graph, it'll give you the picture. But if you press second and then graph, you'll get a nice table. And on the table, you'd go up and down the table looking for the symmetry. And this is the, the heart and soul of the parabola, this, um, this part of the table, where you see numbers repeating like so. So you can graph many, of the point, many more points, but these are probably the most important points for the parabola because it's where the graph has an axis of symmetry and you can see the symmetry with the numbers flanking it on either side. So you want to graph that. So you get your parabolic curve. It's a little bit tough to draw on the iPad. I pretty much got that pretty well. Uh, the second graph now is the linear equation, 2x plus y equals 5. Now that one is not in y equals form, so you're going to want to get the y by itself by subtracting 2x. This will help you graph it by hand. It can also be used to graph it on the graphing calculator by getting the y alone. I would just use negative 2 over 1 as my slope, starting at 5 for my y-intercept to get my picture. So the graph goes down 2 over 1. If I draw a nice steady line going through there, I'll complete my picture. And now the most important thing is to finish the question. Finish the question off and actually answer the question. They want to know where the solutions are. Okay, so the solutions to this equation are going to be where the two graphs intersect each other. And they intersect each other twice. Both of those circle locations. So they intersect at 0 comma 5 and there's also a second solution at 4 negative 3 and for this last one here uh, we've got a different type of quadratic equation to begin with because we've got a negative leading coefficient and that's going to make the parabola look like a frown uh, again, I'm using the calculator to find these values here. Type it in, typing in the equation under y equals, and then pressing second graph will give me a nice table that I can use. And I'm going to search the table for some symmetry, and I'm finding the symmetry uh, beginning at negative 6. When x is negative 6, y is 0, 
and then negative 5 gives me a 7, 12, 15, 16. And then the pattern repeats itself in reverse, getting me down to 2, comma 0. And those would be the important points to graph. All right, so in graphing those points, I get the parabola that looks like that. Like I said, a, a frown. And now I just have to finish off by graphing the second part of it, which is that um, linear equation. And that equation will begin at 4 for the y-intercept. And we'll have a slope of negative 2. So if I get that on my iPad, it might be hard to do because of the scale. If I work it backwards, you'll see that the line is crossing the parabola Leslie two Lewis locations. And Amanda Gensky, please report to the main office. So the answer would appear in two spots. So there'd be two solutions all together at two comma zero is the first solution. The second solution is up there at, what is that? That is negative, five, negative 4, comma 12. Yep. All right, so that's just the basics of how to use the graphing calculator to get your solutions. Remember, most importantly, to answer the question. Plenty of students will do all that work, drawing the pictures, setting up this great table, but then they'll forget about actually naming the places where they cross.